Hi, I am Pixel Pia. Today we continue on Zazzle.com and we are finally going to upload our very first piece of art and create our first product. So let's go to the computer right away. So here we are on Zazzle and I have, as you can see here, already logged in. And today I'm using my main account. But before we go into uploading anything, let me show you what I did in Canva. I have created a 4500 by 5400 pixel art here. I wonder if pizza thinks of me too. This first one with the black background in this case, which I will download with transparent background, is made for Redbubble, which I talked about in my last series. I also have done this. This has just the pizza slice itself. This is made for Sassel. And I'm going to be able to add the text directly on Sassel, which I want to show you today. So now, there are many different ways to find where you create your art. This, when you first log in, you can go down on the left hand side, blank products and view all. In this case, I know we are going to work with a t-shirt. So we click on t-shirts and we have several different to choose from, but I'm going to choose this basic dark t-shirt. You click on that and this page opens so you say customize design and of course I did what I have done so many times as a beginner let's go back to where we were as you see here I am in my main account my members account so what I need to do is go to my account and let's move myself my stores and here we have my store. I can get to that two ways, either by clicking here on my store or by clicking up here and choose that profile instead. Now I know that whatever I create right now, I will be able to sell it in my store. So make sure you are in your store. Then we choose create. Blank product, as I said, t-shirts, and I'm going to choose basic dark t-shirt. So here we are. I can choose what image if I instead want a girl's image for once. And then I choose customize this design. So here we are in their creator. In this case, I'm going to upload my image. And remember, I created two, one with the text and this one without the text. And that's the one I want to upload here. While this uploading, let's take a look at the studio, what we can do here. We can add text. We can add a few elements. It's not much, but some basic shapes. We have the icon settings. This is for you to use if you're creating a shirt just for yourself. If you add any icon from here, if I, for example, would add this icon, I won't be able to put this t-shirt up for sale. So if you're creating to sell, stay away from the icons. Of course, we have our uploads and mine is done here. We can also go in and find out more information about the product so we know what it is we are creating for. And then we can choose here on the layers if we want it on the front or on the back. And then we have the help section. Let's go back to my files. I can put guidelines on here if I want to make sure it is placed in the right place. But for now, we are just going to drag in our image. I can do a couple of things. I can change the image. I can use filters. I can crop the image. In this case, I have a lot of empty space around it. 
since I created it just as a copy of the one with the text on. So I'm going to cut off all that empty space. I can scale it or I can scale it just by grabbing a corner and resize it. I can rotate it. I can flip it. I can flip it upside down. Let me move myself a little bit again. Under more options, let's see here. I can remove white backgrounds, never backgrounds only, or all white in an image if I don't want any white. I can make objects permanent so they can't change anything. I showed you on one of my shirts how they can change colors. If I don't want that to happen, I have to mark this, that it's not changeable. And this last one we will come back to, that is how to make it possible to personalize. That will be a video on its own. And then we have the preview. I can click that to see how it looks right now. And I can even watch a little video with my print on Right now, I think the size of this is pretty good. I want to go up at top here. You can undo and redo your last thing you did. You can tile an image if you want it all over like this. Undo that. You can align it. And this is important because this image I want to sit right in the center here. I can put my grid on or off. But I want to add the text. So first part was, I wonder if, click OK. I can now grab this text and move it to wherever I want. I can choose my style. I should have chosen color first. I want it to be white because I have it on dark t-shirts. But to really see how it looks when I choose my font, I do it dark. I wonder if that looks like a good font for this. I can resize it. And to resize it, I just use either the plus or minus. Or I can just grab and resize it like that. And then I go up and center it again. I can scale it here, rotate it and flip it and anchor it at the top, at the center or at the bottom. I can change my letter spacing. I can change my line spacing if I have many lines. I can change orientation. So if I'm writing something that go down the side, I can use that. I can add a little curve to it. And I don't write the word pizza here. I just write the pizza is the symbol things of me too. And now I move that underneath. And in this case, I want to curve it a little bit on the negative. Now let's go in and change this text color back to white. Let's take a look at how it looks right now. I am happy with that. Okay, let me say this. I could have uploaded the one with the text. The reason I chose to add the text here is that if I want to have text that later on when we start to do personalized things, if I want them to be able to change any text, it has to be created right here by adding text. So now I'm happy with how it looks. So I just click done. And since I am logged in to my account, I have a button that a customer never will see. And that is sell it. I click sell it. First a title. I wonder if pizza thinks about me too. Then marketplace department. This one is women's t-shirts. That's fine because I choose a women's picture. A fun shirt for pizza lovers with a graphic colorful slice of pizza. 
and the question I wonder if pizza thinks about me too and here change option or all options I could choose black only black and white only men's only or if I want it in any specific organic only but I think I will keep it all options and give the potential customer the possibility to choose I can if I want choose to do not display any product images with people if I want just the t-shirt no models included and events and occasions it's not really a specific event event here but expressions is business and fate congratulations friends fun and love we can choose here recipient is for anyone and then you can go down and specify it even more but i am happy with for everyone and store category that is where it will show up initially in my storefront and i choose new products then we have tags you can have up to 10 tags and sassel suggests that you use them so comma you divide the different tags with a comma sign if you want to have a two word tag and i think Two words is the most you can have. You have to do quotation mark and write pizza lovers and quotation mark and then your comma. So let's speed this part up a little bit. And you have tips about tagging here. Now additional information. This is a G product or it can be PG13 or an R product. Product is public, everyone can see it, or you can have it hidden, only you can see it. And direct only, I don't know what that means, I have to figure that out. Show customize it button, in this case, no, I don't want them to change anything. And remember I said you can set a general profit margin, I set mine to 20, so in this case, with this t-shirt i would make three dollars and 58 cents for each t-shirt i can sell and then of course i have to mark that i have the rights to sell this product and one more thing to do and that is post it and now we can do things to promote it we can email it to a friend we can copy and paste this and post it if I have my own website or wherever I like to promote my products more about promotion later on and you can visit and refer others to your store at your address on sassel.com I just like to see my product or create another t-shirt so let's take a look at our product and here we have it right now there is a sell a sale going on so if a customer bought this t-shirt today it will cost them $16.70 well I hope this was easy enough to follow along if you have any questions I know it is a little confusing in the beginning especially if you come from Redbubble I have done many mistakes so if you have any questions about creating your and uploading your first artwork leave them in the comments down below next week I'm going to show you how you can create something where there are parts of text that your customer can personalize so if that is something you are curious about please make sure that you subscribe and hit that little bell so you get all my reminders until next time bye